Hey guys, this is Brink. This is going to be the video on mid Templar Assassin drafting. So when playing Templar Assassin, be it competitive or just public matches, and matchmaking, etc., you're going to be wanting a lot of heroes with disables on your team. Heroes that are good with Templar Assassin are heroes that can lock down the enemy, be it blink initiations with Axe or Slardar. Slardar is definitely one of the best combos with TA. You can lower their armor, lower Roche's armor, and it's a really good initiation hero in general. So heroes that initiate like Slardar and Axe, Lion, Vengeful, another minus armoring as well. Any heroes like this are really, really good in combination with TA because TA's main issue is being able to stay on top of people. TA does not have any issue when it comes to damage. If you did not get, you know, completely destroyed by support rotations or the other mid laner in the laning stage, TA should not be that far behind, if not behind at all for most cases. So you're not really going to have an issue when it comes to damage. When it comes to these heroes that amplify your damage, such as Slardar with his Corrosive Haze or Vengeful with her Howl, there's definitely extra value added to you as a physical damage dealing hero, but you're still going to come across the main issue that TA has, which is staying on top of heroes. So definitely look for these initiating and locking down heroes as your teammates when you're looking to pick a Templar Assassin in a game. When it comes to heroes that are good against Templar Assassin, you should avoid picking TA against almost these same heroes. These heroes that can initiate on you and catch you out and allow for people that deal many instances of damage to you being stunned like an Axe Call or Sven Sun, anything like that, you should be very wary of these type of heroes. So heroes such as Disruptor, heroes such as, you know, Skywrath even to slow you down, does a little ticks of damage over and over, burns down your refraction. Heroes such as Venomancer, anything with a dot is something you should definitely avoid, especially in the mid lane, like as one lane. When a lot of people see a TA being picked, their first go-to kind of counters are heroes with dots, of course. So Ember Spirit, Venomancer, Bat Rider, these are heroes that can be thrown into the mid lane and try to counter you. Even though you can lane against some of these heroes, like TA versus Ember isn't impossible by any means, but it allows for support rotations to do a lot more since your refraction is basically non-existent due to Ember Spirit or Venno or Bat just burning it away instantly. So definitely look out for these damage over time heroes to avoid. Other than that, TA is pretty good in most lanes, one of the few heroes that can line up against OD. You can play your best against Viper and do pretty well sometimes, but the Viper is one of the harder counters against TA as well because she can again get a refraction burned down by Viper's poisons. So definitely avoid these damage over time heroes if possible. Heroes TA are good against, on the other hand, are heroes that do lots of damage based on one instance of damage source. So heroes like Shadowfiend, heroes like Zeus, heroes like Invoker even. Invoker may be seen as a hero that can deal with TA because you can do a lot of instant damage if you go like a Forge Spirit build or Meteor does ticks, but on the contrary, Invoker is really really weak in the early laning stage which makes TA one of the best heroes against Invoker when it comes to in a lane and throughout the game as you can use your refraction to blink out of a tornado when you land or anything like that. So definitely pick TA against these heroes that have weak early games, heroes that have low instances of damage so they can't break your refraction as easily and making them more susceptible and also very slow heroes. Heroes like Invoker are really really slow which makes it a lot harder to dodge your side blades in lane stuff which is going to be your main form of kill potential or just general harassment so definitely look for these heroes that are squishier too like shadow fiend sometimes when he doesn't have a lot of items zeus on the other hand is really squishy these heroes that are going to be very easy to get a gank on or even kill yourself with a, a haste rune or a dd or a trap or anything really that's basically it for when it comes to templar slashes drafting it's pretty clear cut that you just want to avoid damage over time and you definitely want to try to avoid some hard CCs even though you can dodge some projectile stuns with your meld. So as for your team, like I said before, definitely looking for the same things that you don't want to play against. You want to keep those CCs on your team and just general initiation tools and minus armor. It's really really good on Templar Assassin's team. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned some drafting tips about Templar Assassin in the mid lane. If you have any questions, put them below and I'll try to get to them. Thanks.